Now that we have a routine established to get us ready to record, let's make a MIDI recording and learn how to use the MIDI overdub function. So I've got a default set open, and I'm going to start by tabbing over to Arrangement View where we've been working. So let me hit my Tab key. And I've already kind of teed up Impulse here, and I'm just going to grab this first preset and drag and drop that on this first MIDI track. So let me just make sure that I've got sound. Okay, my track is record enabled, and it looks like I'm ready to go there. So let's set a tempo. I'm going to bump this down to around 100 BPM. And let's enable the metronome. So I'll click on that, and I'm going to just double check that I've got a count in set by clicking on the arrow here and making sure that I've got a one bar count in selected. So that looks like that's ready. And the last thing that I need to do to get ready to record is just to set my record start point on whatever track I'm going to record on. So if my cursor is somewhere out in the middle of the track, but I want to be at the beginning, all I need to do is click at the point where I want to set the start point. Now in this case, I can just click the stop button to go to the beginning of the track, and I'm ready to go. So the track was record enabled, and the last thing that we need to do is just hit the arrangement record button here. Now there's a quick key for that as well, which is F9, which will allow you to have you know, your hand on your MIDI controller and not have to be using a mouse to try and start playback or start record. So I'm gonna do that. Now, while I do that, I'm gonna just give you a short disclaimer in that the software that I'm using to capture this video really messes with the kind of delay and latency. And so it's really hard to play in time with this software running at the same time that I'm using Ableton. So just please forgive me if this isn't the most in time thing you've ever heard in your life. Okay, so I'm going to press F9 and we're going to go into record. Okay, so I recorded about four bars there. And you can see that the clip that I recorded is a little bit longer than four measures. And if I wanna be able to use Ableton's loop functionality, I need to make sure that that original clip is set at exactly the right length. So I'm gonna double click on that clip. And down in the clip overview area here in the MIDI editor, I'm going to grab the triangles over here on the right side of the ruler, and I'm going to drag those so that they are in line with measure five. And that sets an exact four measures for the length of our clip. And if I want to be able to loop this, all I need to do is engage the loop switch over here in clip overview. And then when I trim this clip out up here, you'll notice that when I do that, I get iterations of the loop. Okay, so now that I've got this clip recorded, I want to add a hi-hat part to this drum beat. Now, in most cases, if I just hit the record button and started recording, the new MIDI information would wipe out what's already on the track. So I want to enable the overdub function so that anything that I record now will actually be added to the clip. So to do that, all we need to do is enable this plus button up here on the control bar. And now if I reset my start point to the beginning of the clip, and hit F9, I'll go back into record, and whatever MIDI notes that I record are gonna get added to this existing clip. So let me find my hi-hat. There it is. So I'm gonna press F9, and I'm gonna go back into record. Okay, now you'll notice that when I finished my recording, Ableton again did not truncate the loop to the right length, so I'm going to have to grab that and make an adjustment there. So with this selected and visible down here in the MIDI editor, again, I can grab those out point triangles and move those to the right spot. Let's check it out and let's hear what I've got. Okay, that's pretty close. So now that you know how to record and overdub record MIDI and arrangement view, you're ready to start working on your projects.